fellow Guyanese, this issue can be simply resolved by us doing to what all of us would have committed ourselves to. That is the national recount. Rather than exposing our country, rather than exposing our democracy, rather than having the state of affairs in our country today, where not only the business community, but every citizen is uneasy. This statement from Ali came in light of Friday's outcome of the legal proceedings, where Justice Franklin Holder ruled that the High Court has jurisdiction to hear the case, blocking the Ghana Elections Commission from conducting the national recount. The High Court judge also denied an application for GCAM to submit the statement of polls from Region 4 to the court. According to Ali, while many have claimed that they will adhere to the rule of law and uphold the Constitution, this cannot be done if they do not first adhere to the will of the people and do right by the will of the people, which was exercised almost four weeks ago. I think at this point in our history, all of us have a responsibility to speak up now, to speak up and to ensure that our country proceed in a pathway that is democratic, proceed in a pathway that is stable. What is happening now is going to drive investment away from us. What is happening now is leading to a lot of distrust in our country as a whole, not only the political system, but our country as a whole. When the, de when the democratic rights of people is eroded, is the strongest signal of a failed state any country can send to investors. We don't need this at this time. Rupa Sinirain, The Evening News.